first six steps of the Six Sigma data analysis are really geared to, uh, to get you to go in and take the data and turn it into visuals that, uh, that you could actually present to, uh, to the boss or other team members. Um, so what we're looking at to get started here, we're looking at a stratification or a pivot table. We're going to look at type of injury and we're going to use the type of injury Excel file. Okay, so again, type of injury Excel file. When you open yours, you're only going to see one tab. Again, we're going to do the stratification on injury type. So let's go, let's get to the data. You can see when you look at it, we have the date here that's associated with some sort of injury and the number of days that were lost. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and select all the data. Again, this is these are all of the injuries we've had with the days that are associated with it. Let's insert a pivot table. So when the pivot table comes up, it says, what data do you want to, uh, to select? We've already selected that. And we're going to go ahead and do our pivot table in a new worksheet. So if I click OK, the wizard pops up for us to be able to do our pivot table. All right, it told us that we want to do this by type of injury, so let's left click and drag type of injury down to rows, and you can see when that happens, these are all the different types that we have. And we also now we want a count of the injuries. So, I, so what we're going to do is if we just left click and drag type of injury down here to this box, it pops up and says that this is a count of the type. So there are four amputation injuries and there we have it. Um, there are two burns. Okay, so you get the point. 42 different injuries. Now we have it all set up. Let's go back over and see what it says we need to do next. Okay, that's stratification for the type of injury from the type of injury Excel uh, file. Next, we want to do a stratification for the days lost by injury type. Let's go back over here to our data. Let's insert another pivot table in a new worksheet. This time what we're looking for is we're going to left click and drag the type of injury, but we want to get the total number of days that are lost by injury. So if I left click and drag it down, it sums up all of the days that were lost due to amputations, burns, cuts, blah, blah, blah. You see that. Okay, what we're doing is we're stratifying the data, but what we're really doing is we're, we're just running pivot tables. We're running pivot tables to be able to show people that cuts are the most common, that muscular, uh, musculoskeletal disorders are second biggest problem, and that if we count up the number of days that people are out, well, that data looks a little bit different anyway. So. Let's go back now. So we did our two stratifications. Now it says let's make a histogram for the type of injury from the type of injury Excel spreadsheet. So that was the first information that we gathered. Okay, so it's just asking us to take this information. I'm going to copy it. And the reason I'm copying it here is that if I try to run analysis inside of a pivot table, it really gets messy and, and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. So, whoop, I should have gone there. Uh, I'm going to hit control, I'm going to hit go back to home, hit copy. So I've copied this data. I'm going to come here now I want to do a paste. And I want to do a paste special. You can either just click this one, two, three that says values or you can go down here to Paste Special and click Values. Either one works. And what we just did was this no longer is attached to this file or this uh, pivot table. It's just to, uh, pasted in there for me. So this is Injury. This is Count. And if I'm just doing a regular histogram, if I take and uh, highlight this data, and I go to insert and just do a column chart, a regular 2D column chart. It turns this information from all of that big long string of data 
and then we're just going to relabel this count of injuries. So the boss can quickly look at this and say, you know what, I, I get it. Cuts are the most common, musculoskeletal disorders second. Eh, illness due to toxic exposure, thank goodness that's low, but it, it just takes all of this big long string of numbers and turns it into something that is very easy for the boss to be able to take a look at and say, okay, but I get it. Let's go back over here, tell us what we need to do next. It says just do a regular histogram of the days that were lost. All right, same thing. I'm going to highlight it. I copied it. I do a paste special. I'm going to pull that down just one more to give me some room. So this is injury type. This is lost days. Now let's go ahead and do another column insert, column, 2D column. Wow, now look at this. I mean, you, this really now starts to, to show us that um, musculoskeletal disorders really, I, I mean, they, there's a big issue there. Something's going on. Okay, so again, we've, we've taken the information, we've, we've created pictures, much easier to brief this than it is to brief the big long data. All right, what do we do next? Make a Pareto chart. Now the Pareto principle once again says that 80% of our problems are gonna come from 20% of our cases. Okay, once again, Pareto principle says that 80% of the problems that you have come from 20% of your cases. Let me put that in context for you. 80% of all your personnel issues are gonna come from 20% of your workers. So from a Six Sigma standpoint, if we can find, if we can find the areas that are the biggest and we can focus on those, then we have the greatest chance of, of making an impact. So once again, I'm going to copy this um, just to make it easier to, to work with. I'm going to do a paste special again, paste it in. Now what I want to do to make a Pareto chart, for a Pareto chart, I need this rank ordered because I want, I want the biggest problem. I want the one that is the most important. So after I have it here, I'm going to go up to data because I want to sort it based on the count. And I want to sort it from the largest to the smallest. And it didn't want to do that way. Let's, let's go this way. So let's do it by count, largest to smallest. Make sure it says my data has headers, and it does. Click OK. So now we see, if I go back to this, now that it's rank ordered from tallest to smallest, and I do an insert, again of a column chart. Now look what happens. I can see these are the, these are the predominant, uh, these are the drivers, right? These are the big ones. As a matter of fact, if I can look at this from, I told you that 20% of my problems account for or 20% of my injury types account for 80% of my injuries. Let's see if that's true. Let's put in a cumulative here. Cumulative means if I start off, I want to go, let's start off with what we have. Cumulative means for the next one down, it's going to be 15 plus whatever is in this column. I'm going to pull this down. Again, I just clicked that right corner, pulled it down. This says that cuts count for 15. Cuts plus musculoskeletal count for 28. The um, cut musculoskeletal do the overexertion, we're up to 35. You get the point, this is cumulative. Now let's change this to a cumulative percent. I'm just gonna put a percent sign in there. The way we can get a percentage of this cumulant is if I take the total and divide it by the overall total of all um, injuries we've had, which is 42, and I hit enter. 
36% of all of my injuries are due to cuts. Again, I'm going to just right click and drag this down. And hopefully you can see that down at the bottom, when I've done all my cumulative, it's going to add up to 100% or 1. I'm going to convert this over to a percent so it's easier to see. Okay, now let's go back to our chart because what I want to do now is um, let's make ourselves a Pareto chart. This is just a rank ordered histogram. A Pareto chart goes back and looks at the principle that I was mentioning to you a minute ago. Okay, so we're going to do an insert. From an insert, we're going to do our column. Bring it in. Now let's go ahead and change this to a Pareto. Pareto of injury types. Okay. I have this. Let's go up to change chart type. And in change chart type, I can do a combination. And when I do a combination, I want the clustered column and then I want this cumulative percent as a line. Let's make that my secondary axis. I'm going to click OK. Here's what it's showing. The Pareto chart shows that right off the bat, you see my percentage how it increases and goes up over time. If I just focused on these two areas, I would be able to really address 67% of all of the different things that are going on. Okay. So that's what's going on with this. You can make a Pareto chart exactly the same way with the number of lost days. Okay, that's the sixth step. I'm going to leave that to you, but you know exactly how to do it all. Um, good luck, and I look forward to seeing your analysis.